This video is a clip of a longer video where I show how to create this motion graphic scene from scratch. Click the card or the link below to check it out. But now let's make the heart. And the way we do this, I'm gonna actually make a new scene. We're just gonna call this main, and then we're going to make a uh, copy settings, and this will be heart. So it copies all our settings, but uh, there's nothing in our sequence, or it's empty now. Um, so let's go back to the beginning, add in a color, bring this up a little bit just so that we have more room to work with. All right, something like this. Now let's go back to masking, and I'm gonna pull this over here. We're going to uh, make a new mask by clicking this button here. This will be mask heart. And the way you make a heart is we add in a circle, scale this up here like this, and then with everything still selected, press V and then choose free. And then select these two, shift select those handles there, press G, Y, and then two, and that's way too far. So escape out of that. So G, Y, and then point zero two. Oh, that's too little, okay. G, Y, point one. There we go, I like that. G, Y, point one, and then G, Y, and pull that down a little bit. So that's a, a little bit more heart shape E. Maybe pull that up a little bit more. And the same thing here, we're gonna bring this down, and then we're gonna do the same thing here. Shift select those, G, Y, point one. And this is up to you, depending on the shape you want your heart to be. So I'm going to do GY.02. And, and then I'm going to take this one, G and then X.05. Okay, yeah, that's all right. G, X, negative 0 0.05. And the reason I'm doing it like this instead of clicking and dragging them is because I want it to be accurate. I want it to be a specific heart shape. Let's take these two here and then scale them down in a little bit. I guess we could also take these, and actually that would be easier, just scale them on the X in or out. Yeah, okay, that's actually a lot easier. Well, there you go, there's multiple ways you can you can do that there. Let's see what we have with our overlay, and then turn off the spline. Eh, it's not quite the heart that I was going for. So that's kind of more of what I, so, okay, then let's, uh, let's take this and we'll, pull this down a little bit more. There we go. And then we can uh, just take these shifts like those and then pull those up together like this and then scale them on the X and we can scale them in towards each other. Yeah, there we go. Something like this. Uh, we could do, we could do it out more like this and then maybe take these and then grab and move those down. Oh yeah, here we go. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Let me take these, grab and move those up. It's not, it's not as nice as I, I got this one to be. Uh, there we go. That's good enough, I think, for our purposes. So uh, let's select everything. I'm going to grab that and move that up more towards the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. But there we go, there is our heart mask. And now if we come back to video editing and we duplicate this up, change the top one to white, and then go to modifiers, add strip modifier mask, mask, and mask heart. Ta-da! You can find this video and a whole lot more by going to my new website, blenderfrenzy.com, where you can access lots of free and members-only content, including extra tutorials, downloads, assets, blend files, Q&A live streams, and much more. Signing up helps support me, which in turn gives you more Blender content, so head on over to blenderfrenzy.com and become a member today.